Finna feed my pups off, uh, high enough Jeep pups. And show y'all a few tricks to the trade. Please, uh, please donate to the cash app for, for getting my secrets. Some of y'all gonna be trying to, yeah, we gonna outproduce Ready Red. With these tricks, I'm just playing y'all. I just be playing with y'all. I don't be having nothing else to say. Why, why I get on here and be extra serious like I'm a doctor or a scientist? Man, I'm doing this for fun. If it ain't no fun, why do it? All right, Pedialyte, goat's milk. If you can get better goat's milk from a, a local uh, farmer, it's best to get natural goat's milk. They'd be better than this. I got one egg. I'm just showing y'all what we put in. We finna blend this up right here, y'all. It's gonna be for the Jeep and Heiner pups, what I'm about to show y'all in a second. Um, we gonna blend this up. Junior, plug that in for me right there. Y'all on the Dog Cooking Food Network by Ready Red Kennels. No, I'm just playing. I'm trying to act like one of the people online be, be doing food. They be acting like they got all the veggies chopped up and they be so neat. Yes. And you do it like this and you use that. I'm just playing, y'all. But yeah, we finna blend this up. This is my personal machine for me, but you know, the dogs do a lot, so. This is uh, gonna be for the pups, y'all. It's that magic. Uh, y'all, yep. I'm out here with my pups. These are Jeep pups. They're heavy on the Jeep. Up close Jeep. Bread good Jeep. So I'm uh, giving them a little bit of my milk that I made. I showed y'all in the last video. I'll let y'all in on the secrets that I actually paid for. I gave it to y'all for free. Everything that I have that I know about these dogs, was either given to me from my stepdad, Premier Kennels, or from a uh, uh, paid for knowledge acquired through uh, purchases and and, and uh, uh, purchases and um, and uh, transactions. That's it, transactions. So, you know, with transactions comes knowledge. So, um, and there's more to that that I might get in one day. But uh, these pups here are a little small to me. So I'm introducing them to some milk. I was supposed to do this a couple days ago. I was going to do it. Kind of let time get by. But I said I'm going to at least introduce them to some milk. This is more than likely way more than enough. Way more. Um, I'm going to let this. I'm gonna let them eat this up. I'm going to see how much they'll eat. And uh, if not, I'm going to come back with some pups off some other uh, litters. And... Uh, and let them eat it up. Or I'll give this to one of the moms. You know, we got uh, pups off, what, China Red, Candy, Hyena on the ground, Lala big as a house, Classy big as a house, Scarla pretty big, you know. So, we we'll to have plenty of opportunities for this food to be used up. Well, it's one thing about food, we don't have to worry about no food, even in the house. And if the food don't get ate, shit, if we can't eat it, they'll come out here and eat it. But everybody fed right now. I done cleaned everybody areas out. I done fed. I've been uh, uh, catering the pups, giving them medicines and stuff. So I'm trying to get these pups on some food. This, if I had to guess, this pup here to me kind of looks like that dog who we bred to. His name is, uh, his name is uh, 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 Mr. Fantabulous. And I don't know why some of the other ones look like they could be off scrap. So we did a dual... Uh, breeding with this one kind of annoying because i gotta wait for the dna and all that see where they are so it makes it where i gotta hold them longer than normal but um uh this little actually i decided not to let any go then i came back said well you can let one go you need to get your money back behind them so i said i'll let one of these males go because i need to get that hind money back and then um rest gonna stay you know in-house so um, Heine, you know, I put some pretty chunk of change into her, so it would be nice to get a portion of that back. But yeah, these are Jeep pups, man. They high quality. They mama is a super turnt, high strung, uh, 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 hyperactive bulldog. They mama, that's all she want to do is work. So the jeans coming out of these Jeep dogs, I know it's going to be tip top jeans. 
I know the genes that she gonna put in they that's running through their veins is gonna be full throttle. Best believe that. So I said if I can do something extra to make these pups perk up a little more, I'll do it. But another dog man was telling me, you know, they got different blood. All blood don't operate in the same way where they where they uh be all huge as pups. So and I said that's true. But I know Scrappy was huge when he was a pup when I got him, so these pups just a little smaller than me. They're not as chunky as I like them to be. So I said, I'll do my part to help out. So uh, we got one that's getting his feed on here. I think that's my female. No, that's a male. That's the male. Um, that's the actual, we've got two true buckskin males and we got two that's buckskin, like black mask, like especially him. He also has him. Them two got dark, dark mask. Um, this one here has somewhat of a black mask. This one here more of a red fawn color. And we got the clean buckskins right there. I think that's probably gonna be my female right here. And it is. That's a little hind. That's that's a uh, baby hyena. That's baby hyena right there. So they are a little younger than my other pups. They're not too crazy about this food. I got them in a nice cool area right now. It's clean. So these pups, man, you know it's crazy when you have these pups, you don't know what you really holding in your in your yard. You know, you might be holding the next super duper uh winning bulldog to run their bloodline, to run the Jeep dogs, you know, you just don't know what you have. You know, so it's all about cultivating these pups until they get bigger and uh all the way till they get big because you know for sure you're gonna get something, something uh, out of the blood based on their parents. You know, I mean it ain't never hundred percent, but uh, for me, when I when I know you know I got a good gene pool, I know it's a good chance of me coming up with something good, man. So that's the key. I stick with good gene pools, you know. So right now we got a pool of dog food. Look like gonna be wasted. So I'm gonna get them probably about 10, 15 more minutes out here. See if they take to this food. I still got a lot of milk left. And um, I'm gonna see if they take to this food. And uh, if not, I'm gonna go get the bigger ones, let them come come uh, attack this food. They gonna run through it. But you can see, super pretty pup. Look at that pup. Then, uh, I think that's the female right there. Uh, they definitely got a little few worms, so I'll be worming them out after they eat. Give them a little worm medicine. Um, give them a little treatment, you know, just, you know, the poop and shit. I give them stuff to keep them strong. They run across a lot of poop. They get sick. So I I, I, I learned through the years it's best for me to stay ahead of the game than trying to wait for them to catch something. I'd rather them not catch it at all. So I, I do proactive things instead of reactive. But anyways, man, these the Jeep pups. Not much to it right now. Lazy little babies. Eat poop, eat poop, eat poop. So that's my female, she's not going nowhere for sure. Another male gonna stay here. I'm sending one male down to Florida with uh, Mr. Solo and go down there. And uh, we gonna see if they are fantabulous. If uh, they are, then, then uh, one be going down to, uh, to uh, Texas. So, and then the rest gonna be here. So these heavy Jeep pups. Anyways, man, y'all boys stay out. I'm going to let them finish up on their feed, and I'll uh, be getting back with you guys. Y'all stay up, man. Come on. I told y'all the food wouldn't go to waste. I already fed this group of bolio pups. As you can see, it's gone. So I knew they needed more. So what the Jeep pups didn't eat, they're going to finish off. These are heavy bolio pups. We also got a, like a termite bitch in there, too. So these going to be off the chain, man. Yep, so I'm just showing y'all food don't get wasted around here, baby. All right, y'all, I'm in here with the French Bulldogs. They're taking over for the 9 9 and the 2000. There's about three different litters right here. Took them all out at once. I know which litter each one of them is. That's the only reason why I'm able to do this.